What was considered to be the biggest, most anticipated festival has turned out to be chaotic. The first day of the DSTV Delicious International Food and Music Festival held on Saturday, 24 September at the Kalaimi Grand Prix circuit in Midrand, Jobek, was filled with complaints from attendees. Guys, this was the most hectic day I've ever seen in any festivals, you know. It was loaded. That festival was loaded. Musicians like Abelo, Tebe, Nisi, a Major League, DJs, DJ Z and Banner Boy took the stage and kept the upset audience entertained. People took turns to social media to share about how they struggled to get into the venue and waited for hours. The audience in the VIP section said they could not hear the sound from the concert and the festival was hit by a fake ticket scandal. Wow. Yo. Guys, Twitter user Kanye C said they went home because the organizers ran out of takes. Wow. So disappointing. Another attendee went on to say, I'm going home. What a horrible experience. They ran out of text, but you need it to get access to the VIP or even get food or drink. Have been standing in line almost all day. Zero out of ten. That's how he rated the whole show. Socialite and influencer, Tepi Vundla say, said, getting into the event was a struggle. It was hell getting into DSTV Delicious Festival. I don't know how the hell we're going to leave this place. She wrote. Another user said he had a bad experience. It was a horrible experience. I'll never do it again. Disorganized and VIP section was a mess. He wrote, wow, DSTV. How can you disappoint people like that? Another one went on to say, when Johnny Malepa wrote DSTV Delicious has always got it right. They failed this year. Hopefully, they improve on certain factors tomorrow and give us back the old DSTV delicious we know. Multi-Choice has since released a statement apologizing to people who've been complaining. They started uh, by addressing the issue of fake tickets and they said we are working on it. Attention. DSTV Delicious Festival 22 patrons. Due to the overwhelming number of fake tickets being used at the festival, the system has now been rebooted and we are working hard to get everyone inside as quickly as possible, they wrote. Guys, this is so disappointing, you know. They went on to say we were aware of the issues that have occurred today in and around the Kalami Grand Prix circuit, our teams have been working to rectify this. We apologize for the inconvenience caused to festival attendees. They wrote, and they went on to say, leading up to and during day one, we've had to deal with fake tickets, which had a knock-off on effect on our systems and process, which had resulted in us verifying each and every ticket. This in turn has caused a delay at our entrances. The management of the situation is ongoing. They continued. The second day of the festival is today, Sunday, 25th September. American Leaks, Angie, Stone, and Babyface are set to perform. Guys, guys, yo, I, I, I believe you all saw the thing that I... The video that I posted on Saturday, was it Saturday night? Yeah, the same day of the festival. Yeah, it was Saturday night, yeah. I believe you saw it, you saw how packed that place was, guys. It was packed, honestly. I don't understand how they managed to even get out and get home. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to the new subscribers, guys. You are welcome. And everyone that keeps coming back to support me, please consider subscribing. Yes, guys, thank you so much for this uh, moment. See you in the next video. Banner Boy had another festival in Windhoek, Namibia. I'll definitely load you up with whatever that transpired there, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. My love is real. Bye.